Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in this video I wanted to do a quick overview and look at a photo recovery software uh, called Stellar Photo Recovery. Uh, first what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, put some pictures on a, on a flash drive. I'm then going to delete those photos and I want to see if the photo recovery software will recover the uh, recover those photos. So let me go ahead and get those pictures on the drive and I'll show you from there. Okay, so I do have uh, I do have the picture added to the USB drive here and I'll just open one here to show you. So it is a picture of my cat and of course he's closing his eyes because the flash was on. <laughs> uh, so let me go ahead and I'll delete these. Alright, so those are now gone. And just for safe measure, we'll go ahead and empty our recycle bin. Bam. So they are gone. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is open up the uh, photo recovery software. All right. And before I go on, I just wanted to show you um, their website where you can get this software. So this is from uh, Stellar, and they offer uh, three different versions of this software. Um, it's a very small file, which is great. So the file is only 25 megabytes, so it's not going to be um, a huge download or anything. And um, we have our pricing here. You have your specifications. So the one I'm currently working with is the standard version. Uh, but you have professional and you have a premium version, and you can see here the differences between those versions here. And I will leave a link to the software in uh, in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see if it will recover those photos for us here. Okay, so uh, we are here in the main splash screen, and it recovers photos, video, photos, audio, and video. You have your list of drives here, and I'll just go through some of the uh, different options we have here. So we have a little hamburger menu that will either retract or give you all those options here. We have our uh, advanced settings here, and right here it says uh, turning preview off during scan will uh, save uh, scan time. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll turn off the preview so we can save some time here. Uh, we do have a file list, and this actually gives you all the different file formats that you can have it search for. So if you know specifically what you're looking for, you can uncheck those and just check the ones that you want to actually find. Uh, so it has a bunch of different options here. You also have audio formats and video formats, and it's the same with that. You can also add it your you can add or edit file types. So if there's a file type that does not show up in that list, you can add that. Um, you can also edit those as well. So you can then add that to the group. So if it is a photo a file type, a video file type, or an audio file type, you can have it checked there. So that's really nice. Um, you can resume recovery. So say you started a recover or you started to uh, scan and you had to pause that scan for some reason, you can actually save that and come back to it later. So if it is a large hard drive or a large external drive, it can take a long time to recover uh, or to scan them to find the photos and videos and audio. So if you wanted to, you can actually save that for later so you're not losing your place basically. Uh, you can check for updates to the program itself uh, and you can upgrade the software just by entering in uh, the key that you get whenever you purchase the new version. Uh, you do have a couple of uh, language options here. So we have English, German, French, Italian, and Spanish. And then we have a uh, helpful guide here which will give you some more information on how to use the different aspects of the software. All right, so uh, that's it for that here, and we have our save scan, resume scan, create an image, or load an image, and then we have information about this uh, about the uh, software here. So we do have our product information. So here's my edition, the version. Uh, it shows your operating system and the version here. So you have a little shopping cart here. So if you wanted to buy uh, more. Uh, products by them you can and you have an activation here as well all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to be choosing the SanDisk cruiser here because we want to recover those three photos all right so we're going to go ahead and do the scan and mind you I did turn off the preview so I wanted to save a little bit of time here uh, now I did format this previously 
and there was a uh, operating system installer on there. So it may find that. So we'll go ahead and let it scan here and I will come back once it's done. Alright, so it says uh, scanning has completed successfully. 3,426 files were found in 23 folders. 14.30 gigabytes of data was recoverable, so deep scan results will report all data found. Alrighty, and uh, here is the view once you are uh, once you've completed your scan, and uh, you go in basically, and you can recover which files you want to recover. So um, on the left here, we have our file tree, and you can see what is included with each um, each different file type. So we have our JPEG, we have NEF, PPM, and so on. Uh, the same with our video and audio, and then you get a number next to it showing how many it's found. So uh, you can go into each one and then you have a little preview here of each of the files and you can choose which ones you want to recover. Uh, so in this case uh, these files are considered uh, under the NEF format for some odd reason. Um, it actually didn't find one of them. Uh, let's see if I can find that other one. And these may only show up with a preview if you actually have a program on your computer that will actually display um, the file type that you have here. Alrighty, so it looks like the only one, it found, the only two it found are those two. So while it's unfortunate that it didn't get one of them, it still did get a lot of other stuff. So what I'll go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and unselect everything, and the only ones I'm going to select are that NEF file here. So those two I'm going to recover. And uh, we're going to go ahead and recover here. All right, so it says select your destination and click Start Saving to save the data. So we'll go ahead and hit Browse here. And then I'll go ahead and save it onto our desktop here. All right, so we'll go ahead and save that data. All right, so um, it does have a file name here, so we'll go ahead and rename it. Do the same thing with the second one. Okay, and those are now recovered in this root folder here. We have photos, NEF, and these are some that I previously had recovered, um, but you can see the two that it has here. And you can view them in the uh, Windows Photo Gallery or whatever uh, photo program you use. All right. And uh, so another thing you can do here is, as, as I said before, you can save the scan. So if you want to, if you want to recover um, at a later stage, you can do that. So we can click yes. And then if you wanted to, you just click, uh, you can rename this, whatever you want to name it. And then that is the file format that it uses here. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And there you go. We have our scan saved here. So I can go back and recover more uh, from that same scan if I want to later. All right, so there you have it. Just a quick look and uh, overview of the Stellar Photo Recovery program. Uh, I think it's pretty fantastic, really simple, easy to use, and um, it does a pretty good job. Um, however, unfortunately, that it didn't find that one photo, but the fact that it still found um, files from a previous formatting of this drive is really impressive and uh, I think this would be a great tool to use so if um, if you have a hard drive you need to recover documents or videos or anything like that um, definitely give this or any of the other programs that Stellar offers a try uh, anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did enjoy the video please leave me a like and if you'll see more uh, content like this please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video